Big day here. Pet Palooza at CBS 42 as we look at how we treat our four legged friends. Indeed, because for many people, they're just part of the family. And as CBS 42 morning news anchor Art Franklin shows us, some people will spare no expense when it comes to pampering their pets. Actually, full disclosure, that's pretty much the situation in my own household. That's our dog, Prince, right there that I'm playing with. My wife calls him our son. When we board Prince, my wife insists he gets the penthouse. He has four beds in various rooms, toys everywhere, special food. Even on Christmas morning, she insisted that his Christmas gift, a new toy, could only be open on Christmas morning. So what I discovered working on this story, the serious levels many of you spoil and pamper you. Your pets. They're, they're the children. <laughs> yes, they're known as the children. Meet Coco and Zorro. You guessed it. That's Coco with the brown fur. Both dogs, <clears throat> excuse me, children, have weekly standing appointments at Rubber Dog Dog Bath House and Spa in Homewood. She said we could do top knots in bows today. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get fancy. My big girl. See you in a little bit. 1230, though. 1230. Who gets the most pamper, you or? Oh, they do. Really? They do. The lady who takes care of my hair is very bitter. <laughs> Cindy Ostrowski admits her two eight year old Havanese are beyond pampered. She's not ashamed to say even her home has gone to the dogs. They watch television with us. They have their own little spots on the couch. My upstairs den belongs to Coco. I've just given up. It's like, this is your house. This is your den. That's your sofa. <laughs> Another regular at this high end doggy spa is Mata. She's a schnoodle part schnauzer and part poodle. I think she's just treated like one of the family, you know? She stays in the house all day and her, the boys like her sleeping in the bed with them and, um, you know, we just, we just love her a lot, just love on her. Six days a week, this spa is busy. Dogs can even get a 15-minute massage here. Are you surprised by how many people really pamper their dogs? Not at all. I was one of those crazy dog people. You know, my dogs had a full wardrobe with collars and leashes for every holiday. And once I got a little cavalier, she had a wardrobe bigger than mine. According to the American Pet Products Association, Americans spent $62.75 billion on their pets in 2016. As more millennials become pet owners, the industry could reach $96 billion in sales as soon as next year. Clean those ears out real good. Some of the grooming here is out of necessity. Other services, though, are vanity based. We have one little dog that's a. Um, she is an Italian greyhound, and her mom likes to have her nails painted right before she's in the muckcracker every year. Wingo won't go that far, but she will put Mata in a Halloween costume. She doesn't resist spending whatever is necessary to keep Mata looking her very best. I spend more on her hair than I do on my hair. <laughs> yes. Well, pampering your pets is not cheap. When you add nail polish, massages, clothes, special treats, it adds up. One trip at a high end spa could easily cost you $100. But when Fido is your child, cost. Is not an issue. I'm Art Franklin. Back to you.